Hello, my name is Jahin and in this video, I'll show you how to convert your Canva design into a Shopify landing page with just one click. So as you can see, I have a Canva site that is made and it looks something like this. Now I want to convert this into a Shopify landing page in my Shopify store. So this is my store. So all you need to have a Shopify store. Now in the old way, if you found any other video in YouTube, you will find how to create Canva design to Shopify is to download the images one by one. We'll go to download and we'll download the images one by one, just like that. And then we'll download it and we'll go to the our theme editor from online store and add them as a single theme. But the issue with this process is whenever you are updating something into your canva design you just need to re-upload the image again so this is a process which many people will not like so if you are designing using canva and want a faster process and a smooth process a, a smart solution then this is the video for you all you need to do is to install this app the link of this app will be given in the description just click this link or search canvify in the shopify app store then click on install and then the installation of the theme of this app will be begin and then click on install button and this app is free for almost 10 pages currently so you can use it for completely free for 10 pages and the app will be there the next thing we need to do is to have a canva design after installing the app the app will be redirected to it dashboard so how to access it again if you want to access it, any shopify app you just need to click on apps and then you will find all the apps that you have installed and this is the app that we will use to import our canva design and convert it into a shopify landing page with one click okay and then you can click on it and access it again if you have just uh, exit the dashboard now we are already in the dashboard now we'll go to canva and all you need to have a design so you can see this is my design and you need to publish this design into a live url for making it work so what i will do i will publish this page as a live website okay so you can see i have a canva design here and now you can do what you can do you can just publish it and you can do all the editing by yourself whatever editing you do i have a four page you may have many other pages and your content and everything will be similar to the design that you are doing according to your store so i have this design four pages and all the editing you have done after making the editing you just need to click on share and then after clicking on share we need to click on website and then we need to convert to website convert to a live website then you will find few option here canva will give us uh, without navigation or with navigation if you want to it will be a free domain because you don't need uh, to purchase premium domain if you have then it is good so then just give it a name so let me give a url canva jahin just to have a url of this live website then we'll find a publish button here below after a few moment it will be loaded then click on publish and you can see the design is publishing in the live url and then we'll import that url into that app and this will convert into a live shopify landing page with one click so click on view live website and then copy the url from above now you can see we have a website a dynamic designed website inside canva and but this is not in shopify store so i'll copy the url from my browser and i'll go to that app now all you need to do is to click on import new page okay click on import new page then you can pass, you will paste the canva page link that we have copied from here as you can see the link that we have published we have copied the link from here and we have pasted it into that app canva link and then we need to give the page a title so the title of the page can be according to your landing page like coffee landing page that is according to you then you can publish the page straight away or you can publish it later but i will check mark on the publish okay just like that and you will click on import page so after that it will be imported at a shopify landing page and now you will find that this page is there canva landing page your page has been imported so if i click on view and you can see it is a password protected store so i'm just giving the password so in your case it may be opened within one click so i'll click on view again and now you can see that 
this page is live this page is a live website already a live website now using this app the advantage of using this app is the in the old way if you want to insert a canva design into shopify all you need to do download the image add, add it inside theme editor and if you change anything then you need to re-upload the image again but using this app will make your life easier like for example right now i wanted the headline to be changed the button color to be changed what i will do i will go to the same canva file okay i will go to the same canva file and then i will upload i will click on edit design and i will change the headline according to whatever i want to give right now jahin shahriar canva design and i can change the size i can change the colors and everything here okay everything here and after changing all the elements or any icons any headline font and everything you need to publish the website again you need to click on publish website and then with the website will be published again we have locked your design okay you can see you can again just click on continue and the website will be republished with the changes that we have done that we have changed the text color and the button color so in future if you change anything all you need to do is to just come in the same canva file and then just uh, publish the design again so click on publish and preparing your design so it will be published again in the web and the new editing that we have done will be updated so now let's see after changing the design it had republished again so i'll click on view live page and you can see my text is now changed jain shariar canva design and button color also changed so now how this will be changed in my shopify in the past we need to re-upload the image but with this app we don't need to do it now you can see i have this i have this old version of it the text version of it so now i want to republish it again just like this text so what i will do i'll go to that page i'll click on update the page that we have imported i'll click on update and i will click on update page this button so what this will do this will just pull up the newly updated text button color and everything from the canva design sometimes it will may not work straight away so just uh, hold for a moment and recheck it again okay so click on view now you can see the design has been updated the text has been updated to jahin shariar and also the button color has been changed so anything you are doing any edit if you want to do you need to do the editing in the canva itself not in the in this app this app will be only used when you have updated anything to that canva file right so if you want to add more pages to that more section to this website all you need to do come to canva click on edit design and add new pages or add or upload or edit your image and everything okay click on add page and then you can add a new page here this is up to you whatever you want to do and after adding the page you can see this is the page for example this is the page i have updated now i'll do if i want to add a link to this button all you need to do from canva and then you just need to publish the website again and after publishing it and doing the setting you just need to republish it again you will come to that app click on update and then this will again re-update the site with the current published canva site you will click on update page and if you change anything any link any color any text it will be automatically published so you don't need to re-upload the five images ten images again from canva itself you don't need to re-download it again re-upload it again inside shopify this app will do this for you within one click now this app is not dynamic like you cannot make product pages dynamic product pages using it like get to cut button this type of functionality but you can use it any page of it into any part of your theme like if i go to my online store any shopify 2.0 theme which is dynamic i can add the page content this canva design as a section of my store for example i want to add the design that i did the canva design i want to add that as a below part into my product page or a new page so what i will do i'll click on customize i'll go to the uh, product page i'll go to the default product page the theme that I have now you can see this is this has to be come from theme because this is dynamic this has to be come from theme this type of dynamic things like product images product title at to cut cannot be pulled off from canva design it will not work 
this will only work for the static contents the content that is dy not dynamic so now i just want to want the design or any design that i did in canva below that particular area what i will do i'll click on add section then i will scroll down i'll click on page and then after that i'll click on this and i'll click on select page and the page that i uh, added from canva has been added as a single page here as you can see this is coffee landing page so if you go to online store and go to pages you will find this app has created a single page for that particular design that you have already updated into our shopify store as a page and this is also mobile responsive because whatever you did in canva will be reflected here so nothing so nothing to worry here so i'll go back the theme then i'll click on the coffee landing page i'll click on select now you can see this design is showing below that particular area okay so this is quite good okay that's that's looking good so you can see this how it looks and it looks fine so if for some reason you can see the spacing is not good what you can do you can click on uh, add section and you can go with like add a uh, add a image banner okay and now you can just drag that image banner into that area just like that and now this design will be good to go and you can go to the page setting as well and you can if you just uh, want the spacing to be perfect all you can do uh, you can see it has been hided some things from the top so i can go to the page and go to the padding top and that gives some spacing from the top so this will be perfect uh, okay so i can go i think here this product elements and i can increase the padding bottom padding bottom like this okay so now share button is showing properly so this how you can do some adjustment for the spacing and this how you can add any canva design that you imported using that app to any other pages and this will be added and all you need to do is to click on save and this bottom design will be added to that particular page so this how you can convert your any canva design into a shopify landing page with just one click using this canvify app so the app link will be given in the description just use that app and do all your design in canva and use this app to import that design or update that design with one click in the future uh, in the future so if you are updating any design in canva just update it in the canva publish it again and then come to come to the canvify and the pages that you have up, up imported already if you want to import a new design all you need to click on import new page if you have up, updated a new landing page but already updated or imported landing page can be updated into that just all you need to do is to update the page in the canva and then come to this app and click on update page and this will do the magic for you and it will save a lot of time for you if you are using canva for your store design so i hope you find this video helpful and if this helpful please do smash that like button subscribe to the channel also let me know in the comment as well so thank you very much for watching the video